What's up, guys? This is What's My Game. Thank you so much for watching. This is Fallout 4, and this is the infinite XP glitch you guys have been asking about. This takes place on a Brotherhood of Steel quest called Learning Curve. Very important, you must have completed the main quest called Reunions, and you must have completed the Brotherhood of Steel main quest called Tour, Tour of Duty first. Otherwise, it won't let you do this because this quest will never be available to you. Okay. Again, this quest is called Learning Curve. After Tour of Duty, Tour of Duty, where you meet uh, all these guys on the the ship for the Brotherhood of Steel, Proctor Quinlan's going to allow you to do uh, send you on these missions where you protect scribes. Okay, and so I'm showing you. I just did one, and so this is what it looks like when you're done, uh, because you're actually killing the scribe instead of protecting him. But you still get the caps, 100 caps, and you still get the experience. You get 327 every time, and you can do it a, 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 about every three or four minutes or so. So you can see I just reached level 17. So now I'm going to show you front to back. So after you leave Proctor Quinlan, he's he's in that big ship called the Perwiden, which you won't get access to until you do those two quests I mentioned. Okay, so you just run out the front door here, back on the main deck, I guess, uh, the, the Perwiden flight deck. Um, the the sniper rifle I'm using is 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 decent. It's not awesome. It's not a 50 cal yet or anything. Um, so the better the sniper rifle, the faster this will go. The less shots you'll have to take. And I even, I only have a short scope. I don't even have the long scope on it. So um, it's kind of hard for me uh, because I can't really see my target all that well because my scope isn't all that intense or magnified or whatever you want to call it so what you do is you get right down here in the corner and you duck down so you get in sneak mode that'll make your shot better and number two you have to be hidden there's your guy you want to shoot him in the head three times and then he's he's down now depending on your sniper rifle it may take less especially if you have a, a 50 cal upgrade and by the way any hunter's rifle you can turn into a badass sniper rifle using your your uh, gun nut perk okay so there he is i get 33 uh experience so that's it. That's basically the whole quest. Um, once you kill the scribe, obviously you can't protect him anymore. So the quest is over. <laughs> and and now you just go back to Proctor Quinlan. He's over here on the main deck. And uh, basically you talk to him. I think I chose the one here where I said, he, happened, he said, what happened to the scribe? And I said, I don't know. Just for the record, that doesn't work, as you'll see. <laughs> he says go back when you know the answer so you have to choose that the scribe's either dead or the moron is dead one of those two on the bottom or to the right and then he'll say it's unfortunate and then he'll just issue another quest the same quest again because this one's repeatable it's called a radiant quest and uh you'll go back outside and kill another scribe i'm going to show you that process one more time from beginning to end so this is what it looks like um, I just got the, the everything. Um, I pressed documents by accident here, but if you talk to Quinlan, this is like if it was the very first time. You talk to him, and you want to assist on patrol, which is on the left-hand side of the options there. It's, you start learning curve. You run out of here and run right back down. I'm obviously going to show you the way. And then you'll run outside. Again, the, the better the, the sniper rifle you have... The quicker this is going to go, um, I accidentally did that twice. I apologize because I was putting all this back together again, trying to make it a little bit shorter going in and out of the loading screens. So here I am back to the corner, and you got to hide. And uh, so once you do that, your guy, if you get there really quickly, he may not be popped out yet. So he'll walk out of that little area where the barrels are. And you can see there's a couple others on the ground that are dead. Um, there was one time where there was a, a big green storm and you could barely see him. So I just waited until he got up closer to that barrel and uh, then I could see him. Um, I'm going to show you a little later in the, in the video uh, how you can screw this up. If you, I'll go ahead and say if you shoot, uh, I think it's more than four times, five or six. And then if you spring up right after shooting uh, before it says uh, detected, uh, then what will happen is your, your friendlies will actually fire on you because they saw you kill one of their guys so i'll show you that after the this this part's over but you can screw this up if you shoot too many times and then it basically alerts everybody and then they kill you so here's me going back to uh, proctor quinlan i'm going to get some more experience and again just as in the interest of uh, full full disclosure i just wanted to show the whole process again 
show you that it indeed does work. As you guys know, I don't put anything on here that I don't test myself. Here's one of the occasions where I got a bunch extra. This is when I had my, uh, my I got three times the ex experience because I was on uh, Idiot Savant level one, which is that perk under luck. And speaking of perks, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple that helped me because I, I didn't wanna just go out and try to get a better sniper rifle. I wanted to be able to keep doing this once I got access to it. So I put another point in Rifleman and that made it, my rifle a little bit stronger. So that would be something I'd recommend because you're going to be getting points, obviously, to level up as you go through this. And then I put another point in Idiot Savant, which now means I get five times experience instead of three times. So like you just saw, instead of getting 327, I got like 1500 something. If it was five times, it's, it's, it's even more than that. So here's what not to do. Don't take more than four shots and don't stand up when it says detected uh, in other words right after you get done don't jump up and run away because you'll get detected especially if you've taken too many shots like this um, I fast forwarded the shots but now you know I'm dead <laughs> so so that's about it guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, remember you, those quests I told you at the beginning I'll show them here now and hope you have a great day this is what's my game give you some infinite experience have a fantastic day see ya